Okay, so in this video we're going to look at the basics of automation in Logic. If you're unaware, automation is a form of dynamic mixing where you could change the volume of your audio or pan it left or right or even add an effect in certain sections in real time. This is handy if you wanted to add certain effects or change the volume in a certain part of your track or even do something as simple as a fade out. So to start with, we'll look at simple volume automation. So I've just got a drum beat loaded here. If I just play that to you. Okay, so as you can hear, the volume is the same all the way throughout. Um, so if we just wanted to change that, if we can access uh, automation mode. So to access automation mode, you can either click that box there or press A on your keyboard. And once you're in this view, you have this drop down here and it shows the different types of automation available to you. We're already on volume, so to activate it, just simply click the line that you can see that faint line. So as you can see, that's just at zero decibels all the way through. If we wanted to do a fade out, we could just click it at two points, the start point, the end point, and just drag that down. So now if we go into mixer view and just play that, you'll see. As you can see there, the volume just changes in real time with, uh, with the decrease we made there, just to, as a simple fade out. Okay, so another way we could automate this audio is by changing the pan, so we can pan the sound left and right in real time. So if we just switch back to automation mode and go to this drop down, we can click pan. So just activate that by clicking the faint line again, and you can see here it's at zero, which is uh, dead in the center. So if I just click a few points here, just to give it a bit of an extreme pan, then we can drag these this way. That would be in the left speaker, and that would be in the right. So let's just uh, draw that in. And if we listen to that whilst just keeping an eye on this pan section here, you'll see what's happening. Okay, as you heard, it's just panning from left to right speaker. Okay, so the last bit of automation we're gonna look at in this video is just how to automate effects. So as you can see here, I've added the silver verb to the channel, it's uh, deactivated at the moment, let me just turn that on. Um, that's completely zeroed off there, but what I'm gonna do with this is just try and add a bit to each snare hit. So we could go in the same way uh, into automation and pick the effect there. You can see the different parameters and choose that, but in this one I'm gonna do it in real time. So to do that, we can uh, add this to right or touch there. Let's put that right. So as the song's playing now, I'll be able to change the effects in real time and it will save that data. So let me just do that. So as you can see there, all of those movements that I made have been recorded within that. So if we just change that now to read, then that will just read that each time it plays through. So let's have a listen to that again. So as you can see there, all of the automation uh, bits that we've covered there are really handy and you could use that in your track multiple times. And I mean, you could change the parameters of it, all of your effects. So it's very useful. 